If I had to summarize Marvel's Avengers in one image, it would be this one. Next time, baby. I want to make one thing abundantly clear. I'm well aware that there's an upcoming change slated for the harm room that will potentially contextualize the ability to complete challenges having been removed, but the decision is still idiotic and blatantly transparent in its effort to slow down player progress by increasing the amount of time that you need to play and grind, which wouldn't be a big deal in a normal game, but Marvel's Avengers stale, no endgame have an ass currently has nothing worthy of committing time to grinding through as a replacement. I showed you the identical takes of people who can't process why this would suck. I've never really done it in that way anyway, so it doesn't actually affect me. Uh, I mean, I don't really, I mean, I, I think there's some people that do do this, but I don't really don't do it, so, you know, I really... But it wasn't just, that doesn't affect me, some people were happy about it. So the people are pissed off about horror rooms, yeah, it's like an easy thing to get through. I, I actually am happy that they kind of made that whatever, like a... Perplexing. I don't see how this harmed anyone in any way. No pun intended. So, in the interest of clarity, I asked him why. Could you elaborate why your happy challenges cannot be completed in the harm room? I just don't, because they don't have like wave after waves of enemies, at, like at any point, and so obviously it's like made good. I don't know, I just like it, like, I just like it when things are difficult. We, we, what, let me play that again. Like, I just like it when things are difficult. So everybody else needs to as well? Is that why the challenges are locked? Because why even have difficulties? Look, man, the reality is simple. If you unlock too easy here, you won't feel forced to buy, buy, buy the microtransactions there. The difficulty is what we call artificial. These figurative speed bumps are placed in your way to slow you down so that you feel forced to pay to have them removed. Listen to Kyle very carefully. I'll be the first one to buy some MCU skins, some identical comic book skins if they look good and they're well executed. Mobile games are killing it right now with beautiful skins. Fortnite is slaughtering the competition and offering fan favorite looks from best-selling runs of comic books. Do you see Archers here? Crystal Dynamics? Do you see Kamala Khan? Or do you see Wolverine and Storm in their Jim Lee outfits from the best-selling comic book run of all time? This isn't a fucking Rubik's Cube, stupid. It's a button. Press the button. Give people what they want. Recognizable skins, they will buy it. Supply to demand. Viewers, listeners, I love you. Thank you for the ongoing support. Thank you for the subscriptions. 400 likes and I'll make another one of these videos. And to the shills, thank you for, for being so ridiculous that me simply telling the truth is content. It's the breath of fresh air that some people are looking for. How big a shame is that? As exciting as I recognize a nuked wasteland or Omega level threats or cloning labs can be, I'm honest enough to admit there are no concrete release dates. So for me to sit here and speculate with vague ass soon predictions because of PS5 trophies, it would make me just as brain dead as some of these, it doesn't affect me. <laughs> Come on, man. Caboose made a video yesterday. He's got half a million subscribers. You know what he said? Could they potentially just end up dropping it officially for us to play as well on the 16th? I think there is a pretty likely chance of that happening. Don't be surprised if at the end of the War Table deep dive for Hawkeye, it just mentions, oh yeah, the DLC is available now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. what is he basing that on? Insider information? Or, or is it nothing? Five months? And we're still fighting two villains five months. Five months and they're removing features. And I understand maybe they're planning to give us something else, but why didn't you wait until you had that to hand to us as you were taking the other thing away? Or at least explain specifically what's coming as a way of pacifying those who of course might be curious as to why things just keep getting worse. Mm. My suggestion, is to have no expectations and be pleasantly surprised. 
updates that remove features and lock content. This is clown world tactics, man. I've seen multiple content creators that exclusively cover Avengers that just happened to leave the fact that you're getting locked out of your difficulties out of their videos? Many people are experiencing this. You're seeing it in the Twitter. You're seeing people report it on Reddit. I'm sure people in the Discord are exchanging their issues. But these people just, uh, just happened to leave it out. I guess they missed it, you know, even though this is what they do. Avengers. They missed it? On Twitter, on Reddit. Okay. All right. You know, it's happening to me too. So like I said before, this game, it's three to four updates away from where it needs to be before a DLC should drop. Why? Because any patch that gets pushed through in this game will only break other aspects of it. Or to put it concisely, the hot fixes are actually hot breaks that need their own even hotter fixes. But by the time anything gets pushed through, everything gonna be cold as fuck, baby. Like a corpse. I'll leave you with this clip of me actually wanting to play yesterday because they increased the caps, right? Let's get back in there. They increased the caps. But I wasn't able to play because what a bit, what would have been the point? I'm not joking. If you want to reimburse me the price of this game, my links are in the description. Please just fatten that wallet. My God. This is a physical, roadblock. literal roadblock. Why the fuck? I have no reason to play at this power level. So you locking the shit off to me, I've tried all of the workarounds and all of the, the fixes, even though the issue isn't on my end. This is physically me being told, don't play. Another day. You see if when you start something, you can set the challenge mode. I can, it's the same thing with me. Okay. So your shit is locked, my shit is yeah, locked. Yeah, because I even, because I, because I'm like, maybe with, maybe with me it won't so be why locked. Play? It's locked. It's locked. So why play? Before I leave you, I want to show you the Play Avengers Twitter exposing themselves for the fake ass fans that they are. Play Avengers tweets, In Avengers 1998, 502, Hawkeye made the ultimate sacrifice in order to destroy a Kree mothership and save his team's lives. Years later, Clint would make a return under mysterious circumstances, but with a more enigmatic guise. If you look into the comments, you'll find that someone actually points out that this isn't even the comic that they're referencing. This is apparently Avengers Disassembled, which leads into House of M, which came well after 1998. Now look, we don't expect y'all to know everything about comics, but as my man Arachnid points out, why even update with Marvel history that has nothing to do with the unique universe that you've established, especially when you can't be bothered to fact check or paradoxically even represent these heroes as they have iconically appeared in the past. It's just... <laughs> I eagerly await Crystal Dynamics next move. I thought that the game had gotten this oh. kind of thing out of its system. Not only am I A-posing, I'm through the, through the floor. Really? So. That's amazing. Come over here. Come into the light. Yeah. I don't want to move too fast just in case. No, you can jump and all kind of shit. It's not going to undo it. I'm jumping, by the way. You're jump. Oh, well, there you go. Back to the sewers. So, uh, say hello to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for me. Even though we're on the space station. Oh, you're over here now. Alright. Well, you know, the implication is that we've run out of time. Oh no. That mattered. Yes, I guess 